Hey ladies, I'm Kristen Livingston, CEO of Nefertiti Image Consulting. Welcome to my show. Today, I have a super awesome special guest on my show, and you guys are in for a real treat. In this episode, my guest and I are going to be doing a new form of fitness called Sculpt Praise that you can do along with us at home. So girl, grab your Bible and a set of weights and get ready. Hi queens, I'm so excited for today's episode. You guys are in for such a phenomenal treat. I have a very, very special guest on my show today who is so near and dear to my heart, Miss CB. <laughs> she is the creator of Sculpt Praise. Do you want to talk about a little bit about how God just gave you the idea and... Okay, absolutely. So, um, Sculpt Praise, I was a stay-at-home mother for probably five years and I was praying. Um, I mean, I, I was fasting, I was praying, I was crying out. I was trying to figure out what God wanted me to do. I knew that was not just it. Um, the guy that I was with, he was a professional athlete, so it was just like catering to him, catering to the kids, catering to everyone except myself. And it got to the, the point where I just, you know, I knew that God wanted to use me for something. I was very unsure, but I prayed without ceasing until I started receiving like different visions and dreams um, about me working out and running again and just being used in a different limelight. Um, I started going to the park and when I go to the park, I would take my weights with me. So I would play with my children, set them up, run behind them, pick up my weights and um, I would get active. But as I got active, I would pray. So I would talk to the master, you know what I mean? I'm talking to him and I'm like, Lord, use me, I'm ready. Mind you, as I'm at the park, I'm interacting with different women, all shapes, sizes, colors, kingdom, the kingdom, you know? Yeah. Women and men that did not know the Lord at all. Um, so after I prayed, I lost everything, mm -hmm. everything. My car, the three-story house, um, Everything. And then I praise my way through it. Yeah, amen. So I started picking up the weights. I'm like, God, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You know, I'm, I was grateful yeah. that my mind, he kept my mind, amen. Yeah. you know? And I'm like, I'm asking God to give me an outlet. Show me what I'm supposed to do. Right. And so it, it came to a place where um, I started feeding my spirit a lot of sermons. I knew I had to shift my focus. Mm -hmm. In order to be successful, I had to be successful in being obedient to God, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I killed my flesh. I stopped listening to secular music. I just shut it down and listened to the Lord. He gave me s steps, divine ordered steps that directed me to you. Praise the Lord, <laughs> okay? Hallelujah. Yes, yeah. God, because um, <laughs> in my obedience, I came to one of your workshops. Yeah. And I had no idea mm -hmm. that it was like, it, it was, was like a line. seed yeah. though, you know? Yeah. And, and, and God will test you. You pray for something, he's going to test you. Yeah. You ask for something, he is going to come to you in a way where you're going to either choose to follow his lead or rebel. Yeah. You know, I got tired of rebelling and I trusted the path, the master, the process, went to the pastor, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I um, asked him, how can I be used? Like in the, in the church, you know, yeah. how can I be used? Um, I didn't get much of a response then. I just got, just do it. Whatever God is telling you to do, yeah. just do it. So um, that was kind of a little background, but ultimately it was everything that was inside of me mm -hmm. that was laying dormant, God just brought it out. Yeah. You know, it yeah. was like I was asleep. Yeah. I was asleep, but yeah. the thing was, it was a time. Yeah. It was divine timing. I was in a position of thinking that I was late. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Taking care of the babies. Yeah. You you played with the kids with me before. You yeah. know, it's a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to entertain them. You have to um, feed their minds. You have to feed their spirits. Mm -hmm. And so I was focused on them. I was focused on that, but God said, oh, yeah, you're going to focus on yeah. you now. He knew he, that he had more. Way more, so way more. more. Yeah. Um, and then having the background of being an, an, an athlete, athlete mm -hmm. was 
it's easy. I can do it in my sleep. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you again <laughs> for being obedient during the time that you were because in your obedience came my obedience. Yeah. When you spoke to me, and, and I remember there was, um, it was a sheet of paper and you asked us to fill it out. Mm -hmm. There was hors d'oeuvres on the, the table and I'm thinking like, you know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and then the questions you, you asked, they were, um, what do you want to dream? Yeah, what is your dream? And, and when do you want to fulfill this? And make a, it's like, take steps, you know what I mean? To accomplishing them. Mm -hmm. And then on the spot, you guys asked me to like, I think train um, at the beach or something. Mm -hmm. Do you recall that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, I was like, I wanted to say no. <laughs> and then, then I thought about the praying and the, the fasting and the, the trust in the process. And I didn't want to hinder or block my blessing, so I said anything for God. Yeah. I stopped doing it for people, mm -hmm. and I started doing it for the master. Yeah. So that's yes. good. That's so good. It's so funny, guys, because um, when I first met Christian, what had drew me to her was immediately her spirit, which I know you guys can already sense. She just, as soon as I met her, she was like, um, "You said you were like." Um, yeah, I didn't even want to come today. <laughs> yeah. You're like, totally. you're like, I didn't even want to come today, but God told me, God told me to come. And immediately the fact that those were some of the first words that were uttered from her, I was like, oh yeah, like this, this is my kind of female. Like this is my kind of woman. I'm yes, like, yes. Lord. I'm like, she was just so unapologetically on fire for God and on fire for Christ and just so diligent and in being faithful to what God wanted her to do, you know, and I thought that that was so profound and so powerful. And so when Christian had shared her dream and just what the Lord had placed in her heart about being able to combine um, doing fitness and the word, I was just immediately so supportive because I just thought that that was absolutely fantastic, you know, and um, and you guys will see, be sure to stick around because we will be doing a great skull praise workout at the end of this episode. So something that we want to do for you ladies today is we want to actually do what we do in class for Skull Praise, which is so, 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 so powerful. So I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to read um, a scripture from Ecclesiastes and just kind of talk about it for a bit. And then after the Lord is done using us and he says everything that he, that needs to be said to you guys, we are going to get into this workout. All right. So let's pray. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you God so much, Father God, just for every single woman, Lord, that's on this, uh, that is on this show. Thank you, God, for just using each and every one of us, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for just speaking through us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for just having your divine way with each and every one of us, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for just each and every woman, Lord, who is watching this episode right now, God. I just ask you, Lord, that wherever wherever she is, anywhere in the world, Father God, that you just touch her heart in the name mm. of Jesus, Lord. I pray that she just feels your presence, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you just speak through Christian and I, that you use the word, Father God, to speak your truth through Christian and myself. Um, and we just give you all the glory, Lord. We just thank you, God, for just this divine moment right here, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for everything that you are doing in and through Skull Praise, Lord. And we just give you all the glory because you are so awesome. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. All right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so, ladies. So, we are going to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 through 14. So, I am reading from the Amplified Version. Christian, what version are you reading? Um, NIV. NIV. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to read the Amplified Version. So, it says, To everything there is a season and a time for every matter or purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck, up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, 
a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What profit remains for the worker from his toil? I have seen the painful labor and exertion and miserable business which God has given to the sons of men with which to exercise and busy themselves. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He also has planted eternity in men's hearts and minds, a divinely implanted sense of a purpose working through the ages, which nothing under the sun but God alone can satisfy, yet so that men cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be glad and to get and to do good as long as they live, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. Amen. And God does it so that men will reverently fear him, revere and worship him, knowing that he is. Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So six. Okay. So, oh, so powerful. So what, what is this passage saying to you? Wow. (laughs) Um, oh my goodness, (laughs) that filled every doubt in me up, Mm. you know what I mean? Like it, it, it filled my spirit, man. Um, it just makes you realize that everything you go through in life is for a reason and it's a season for it. Yeah. You know, everything, I mean, there's nothing that is excluded. Mm -hmm. Um, the pain, the joy, the tears, the hardships um, in terms of like interpersonal connections, you know what I mean? And um, breaking chains and strongholds and they don't last. They just don't last. But we have to go through them. We have to go through them. We have to understand why we need God. You know what I mean? It's like um, we walk this walk we think we can go to a therapist, you know what I mean? Mm. And talk some things off our chest, we'll be good. Then it recycles again, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. But then again, and again, and again. But then when you go to the Heavenly Father and you ask, Lord, why am I going through this? And then in due season, he shows you why. Mm. It was like at a time I felt filthy. I cursed, I was mean, I was arrogant. I mistreat the people yeah. and then I got raped mm. as a grown woman, 25 years old. And I'm wondering like, wait, 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 how did this just happen? Yeah. Not me. Never. This is impossible. But then in the moment, see, God allowed me to minister to the men that did that to me, that set me up. Wow. I could have ran from them. Mm-hmm. Instead, I ran to them. Mm. So it's like it's like um, when you go through any hardship in life, you can, you know, I'm I'm taking a U-turn. I'm going the opposite direction. Yeah. Or you say, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna break through in yeah. the name of Jesus. The Lord gave me the confidence I needed. He let the Holy Spirit use me. After speaking to those men, yeah, they cry in front of my face. Mm. They offer me money. They offer me to buy a car. Mind you. They were in the NFL. I mean, excuse me, NBA. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want to out them. Yeah. But I prayed for them. Yeah. It was like it wasn't, it wasn't the law's duty. It was God's duty to convict them. Yeah. And to shift them, to change them, yeah. to turn it all around for their good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, um, although that was awful, it was a season. It was a reason. I had to endure it. I had to endure it. Mm. So, I. Um, Looked at verse five, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Mm. In that moment, I had to embrace it. Mm. I had to. I spoke to 
the guys that attacked me and I forgave them instantly. I knew that was Christ. Yeah. There was no way I could do that without him. Yeah. He said in his word, no weapon formed against me can ever prosper. That's right. That is what goes down right. when you walk with him. Yeah. I could not believe the freedom I felt by forgiving instantly. Yeah. It was, I, I glorified his name. I, I thank him to this day because that spirit that tried to jump on me, a perversion, that Jezebel spirit, yeah. um, that um, promiscuous spirit, that spirit of just like self-hate, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I deserved it. I rebuked it immediately. Yeah. I didn't receive that. There yeah. was no way. Yeah. God said, that's not your portion. Yeah. Mm. He says, it's not my portion. And I believed him. Yeah. And because yeah. I made a decision to receive it and believe him, my life changed. Yeah. So when I talk about it, it's easy. Yeah. It's, it was, it was a part of the shaping process. Yeah. It was a part of getting me equipped to share, to tell the truth, and to give him all the glory and praise. Yeah. Because now I'm stronger than I've ever been. So that's what the scripture did to me, is it took me back to what I got through by embracing in that moment. Yeah. And just allowing the Lord to have his way. Yeah. Ooh, girl. That is so yes, powerful. God. You know, it's, it's so powerful. Um, and I love how you said that. Um, no weapon you chose to to stand on that scripture yes, that no God. weapon formed against you Thank shall you prosper Jesus. Thank when you you're for when you were going through that that challenging time in your life um, you chose to just stand on the word and to believe with your whole heart like not giving those men the authority mm, yes, not choosing Lord. not to give them the power over you and I know so many women or just any time um, traumatic things happen to yes, people a lot of times what happens is you know you have a choice you know you can either choose to release it give it to the lord trust him tr yes, trusting him saying you know like this word is saying you know lord this may be a season in my life but this is not going to last always like i'm believing in the name of jesus god that you're going to use me mm -hmm. you know you're going to you're going to use me uh, for this reason, you know, for all we know, you know, it's like you may have endured what you went through so you can encourage another woman yes, listening Lord. right now, yes, you know, God. in the name of Jesus, Jesus who may be struggling with, you know, you've been raped before or you've been molested or something, you're going through something traumatic yes, in your God. life, you know, and here's Christian, a testament to being on the other side, ending yes, up on the under, on the other side of that, you know, is so powerful, so powerful, so, so thank you, thank you for just being transparent and for sharing because, you know, it's, it's, um, God is so good, you yes. know, and, and I think that, um, enough people need to know just how good he is. I know that so many people, they just believe that, you know, because you're, you're going through what this is talking Come about, on. you're going through the Come rough on. season, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're in that like right, verse six where it says a time to get and a time to lose. You're Come in on. that time to lose season, That's right. you know? And so it's like, when that happens, you want to just give up. Yes, you want to just God. say, Oh, God doesn't hear me. He doesn't hear my prayers. God doesn't see me. He doesn't care about mm. me. The devil is a lie. Yes. The devil is a lie. You guys. Listen, that each and every one of us have been called to, to be a vessel yes, by Lord. God, right? But it's like, how can you learn the victory if you don't know, if you mm. don't come out of something, if you don't come from something? Everything is a challenge. And that's why it's like, I even think of, you know, um, just how it is when we work out. It's like, when you, we first work out, no one's in shape. Why are we working out in the first place? Because you want, you want the victory to be yes, that body God. that you're going to get. You know, you want those abs. You want those toned arms. You want those, you know, fit legs that's what you want but starting out yes, you know uh you may not see it but you're like okay i know it's under there that's right, right. that's right that's right. right like i know it's under there right like i know it's under there but it's like you have to work at it you just yes, trust God. the process you say you know what like i don't see it but i know it's coming i, I don't see it i know it's coming mm -hmm. so for any of you women who right now like you're in some just down really disheartening season right now in your life like you feel like you're in that you're in that uh the time to lose season you're in the castaway season you're yes, in the God. you know you're in the time of like having to sow right now you know you're not in the harvest season yes God. sis take heart okay take heart take up your cross the thing is is like being with christ 
Sometimes, I mean, most of the time, all the time. We all have to bear our cross. We all have to carry our cross. We have to, you know? We all have to go through those seasons of where it's about fighting and it's about really trusting, trusting, because understand that our God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That's what the word says. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so as we continue to, to just trust him throughout our woe seasons, mm-hmm. throughout our the times in our lives that are so hard, he's going to show up and show out. Look at Christian. Like no one would know. I didn't know. That was news to me. You never shared that with me about, about what happened to you and you being raped. I did not know that. And listen, I already have so much respect for you yes, because of your heart and you just have such a fire and a love and a passion and it was like I'm sure the enemy is so mad. Yeah he's so, he's so <laughs> mad. He's you know? so mad. Yeah, yeah like, he is. He, he's probably so mad because it's like um bruh like you tried it like you yeah. tried it but I like I will not be shaken. Like I will not you know yeah. like that is that that is just amazing. Like God is so good sis so man man I'm just I'm I'm thankful like God is so good and yeah. um this word is just, man, it was just so, so fulfilling. Um, just a scripture just really quickly that, that did um, stick out to me was um, in verse 11 that said, He has made everything beautiful in Jesus. its time. Come on, In God. its time. Yes, he also Lord. has planted eternity in men's hearts. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is so good. Yes, God. So good, you guys. He has also planted eternity in men's hearts and minds, a divinely implanted sense of a purpose working through the ages, on, which buddy. nothing under the sun but God alone can satisfy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, so that men cannot find out what God has done from the beginning mm. to the end. <gasps> Y'all, come okay. on, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Listen, God is so sovereign because this right here should be so comforting for those of you guys who feel lost. You're a believer. You believe in Christ with your whole entire heart, right? You are just like, you're in that season where you're like, God, um, I don't know how you're going to do it. I I don't love my job. Maybe you're going through like relationship issues. Maybe mm-hmm. you're like struggling with your yes, friends. Lord. Maybe you're, whatever it might be, whatever it is that you're going through and you have your faith, but you just, you're kind of like in that space or that season, that environment where you're just like, Lord, I know you're there, but I don't really necessarily see what, you know, your works happening and coming into fruition right now. Mm -hmm. And the powerful thing about in verse 11 is I love that it says that a divinely implanted sense of purpose working through the ages, which nothing under the sun but God can alone satisfy yet so that men cannot find out what God has done from the beginning Mm -hmm. to the end. And it's saying that. God is working a divine purpose in your life. Yes, so Lord. I just say that that we have to just trust him. We have to just trust him because he is making everything, says every single thing that you're doing right now, he's making you more beautiful on the inside. He's making you more beautiful day by day by day. We're called to be like Christ. We're constantly we're called to be constantly transfigured into the image of Christ. And that is a a continuous journey oh. and nothing happens overnight you know so we have to just continue to just trust him that he has a purpose that he's working in our lives and listen like god he always shows up and he always comes through so for any of you guys who are just struggling right now in any whatever the area is i encourage you to just take heart like christian gave her example you know it was like she could have chosen to be shaken she could have chosen to continue to be broken she could have chosen to continue to just harbor on what happened to her or she could have chosen to say no god no i'm not going to let this break me i trust you god use me god you're whatever whatever i'm going through for whatever divine reason that has happened father god i know that you're going to use me in the name of jesus and look at where she's at right now she is such a blessing to so many women she's encouraged me she has encouraged so many of the other women who do skull praise with us and oh, every other Jesus. woman we're always hearing testimonies about you like praying for somebody that you don't know on the street and everything like god is just using you yes, he's god. using you and it's just such a blessing so ladies just take heart trust god there's a purpose that he's working in your life just if you're struggling continue to go to the father continue to go to the father continue to read your word let it just marinate let it resonate in your yes, spirit and in your heart and in your mind Jesus. just just stand on the word and you're going to come out on top, sis. So you have no other choice but to be victorious. Amen. 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, man. Lord. Oh, so good. Okay, so are you ready to work out? I'm so ready. All right. I'm so ready. It's time to work out, y'all. Okay, so tell the ladies what they need. 
So, okay, I need a set of weights. If you do not have a set of weights, you can just use water bottles. Just anything where um, you have a little bit of resistance, you want it kind of heavy, you want to challenge our mind, body, and our spirit. Anything that is easy is not coming from God, okay? So we want to get into a, just get into a, a mentality, a spirit of challenging yourself, okay? You want to defeat the yesterday version of yourself. If you can do it yesterday, it was simple, it was easy. Today, you're competing against yourself again and again and again. God wants you to stay in your own lane. You are not on comp you, excuse me, you're not in competition with anyone on the left or the right, in front of you or behind you. You are trusting a process that is divine, like you said in the word right now, and centered in Christ, okay? So you are gonna get a yoga mat, you can have some water to drink on the side and um, just get ready to praise God. Get ready to praise praise His holy name through the and entire and process. And, and breathe. <laughs> yeah, breathe. So we're going to start with, a, I'm going to teach you how to breathe through it. And um, it's just going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You're going to feel victorious after. And um, that's God. Amen. That's God. Amen. Right. Win, win. Every time. That's Every God. time. <laughs> no choice. Amen. Yeah, All right, girl. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So I'm a little jittery because the Holy Spirit is moving. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's moving to you too. I see you uh, feeling it. I am. Ready to turn up in Jesus' name. I'm ready. So what we're going to do first is I need you to make sure that you have a set of weights, okay? Um, preferably something that's going to challenge you, okay? I also need a water bottle and a yoga mat. Okay, ladies, so as you prepare, if you already have everything, let's just start jogging right now. I want you to get your feet off the ground, okay? So I don't want any lazy steps in the name of Jesus. God is not lazy, he's a powerful father. So you are to stand up straight, your shoulders back, and you are to get your feet off the ground in the name of Jesus. We're coming against everything that has lied to you, Father God. We thank you right now for giving us the strength, Lord to bind in everything that is not of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we rebuke any tired spirits, Father God, any spirits that have low self-esteem, low confidence, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Even any spirits that think they're too good, Father God, to get in this workout and release, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I need you to shake off every lie the enemy has ever told you. Shake it off. Bind it up, rebuke it, and cast it back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. It is no longer attached to you. It's not your portion, so trust the process. Trust the process of going through phases where you have to run faster, run faster, run taller, run taller, run firmer, and trust. Keep trusting, keep trusting, and breathe in the nose, out the mouth, keep releasing. Focus on forgiving right now. Yes, God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for letting me understand that in order to move in you, I must forgive. I must love. Father God, your word, you said love covers a multitude of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. And I believe you. You must believe him, you must receive him, and you must release everything that is out of him. Keep moving, keep moving, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. Now I want you with the right leg, skip, skip, skip. Breathe, skip. Trust, skip through it. Breathe, forgive, love. In Jesus' name, keep going, keep going. Five, four, Stay warm, lady. Three, two, tall, one. Back in your jogging position. Again, keep breathing the nose. Out the mouth. I'm gonna stretch it up. And out, in Jesus' name. Up and out. Inside, cross your arms, bend your knees and release. Yes, God. Yes, Lord, you gotta give me a yes. He will not guide you to the next realm without releasing and giving a yes. 
He's not a forceful father. He is a gentleman. Release, release, release the hatred. Release, release every lie. Keep doing it over and over. One more time. Release. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, you've been calling on him. He's trying to take you higher. Breathe. That's all you gotta do is breathe and move in his timing. It is perfect divine timing in your life. Yes, God, the seasons are real. Release, 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 release. Yes, master. All right, I'm gonna start the right side. Bend your knee. Rest your arm on your knee. Five, four, three, two, shift. One, five, four, three, two, one. Legs close together. I want you touching the toes. And the nose. Out the mouth. In the nose. Come on and rejuvenate them, guys. Out the mouth. It should be easy. Right over left. Five, four, three, two, release. Everything that went on at work, the phone conversation you just had that was unpleasant, release it and cast it back to the fire for the hell in Jesus' name. In the nose. Out the mouth. Stand up. I want you to get that right leg. Pull it back in the name of Jesus. This is all in his holy name. Five, four, three, two, and release. One. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, release. One. Quickly, elbows, pushing the knees out. Put some force right there. Yes, God, have your way. In the name of Jesus, come on, God. Do not intervene. If God said yes, that means it is so. It is so. He said yes, you can finish this workout. Yes, you would do it in order, in confidence, in love, in diligence, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, God, for having your way right now in this moment, Father God, for releasing and breaking soul ties and strongholds, Father God, binding up di diabolical pots, Master, in the name of Jesus Christ, because no weapon form against anyone that's watching this broadcast, it will never prosper in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, no backlash, no retaliation. They are all moving forward from here on out, Father God. Divine purpose in you, Master. Oh, yes, Lord, have your way. Stand up. Get ready to grab those weights. Grab them. Both of them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the nose. Out the mouth. In the nose. Out the mouth. On your shoulders. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus. We're gonna just do 10 squats all together. Five, four, three, two, squat. One, squeeze, two, thrust. Four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe, nine, trust him, 10, release, release, slowly. One way down. We're gonna go all the way down for a deadlift. And then we're gonna curl up. So, inside the weight, deadlift, squeeze, curl, push all the way up. Okay, try again. Deadlift, squeeze, curl, push up. All right. 10, there you go, 9, 8, yes God, 7, 6, in the name of Jesus, 5, Four, three, 
Yes, Father. Two. One. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Release the weight. Release. Release. Put them aside. Start jogging in place. Don't stop in Christ. You shake it off. Hardship, shake it off. Tears, shake it off. Anything that is not of him, shake it off in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. After this, we're gonna do 20 push-ups together. Yes, God, thank you, Lord. You better thank you for your deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. You better thank you for that financial breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. You better thank you for that marriage right now in the name of Jesus. You better thank them for bringing those generational curses and that soul tie in the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Up quickly in the name of Jesus. Start jogging. Breathe, 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 breathe. Get ready to sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7. Call on him if you need him. 5, 4, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 3, 2, run. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way to 25. 16. One, two, three, four. Release, shake it off. In the nose, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. 10 seconds. 100, 100, pulse squats. Five, four, three, two, get ready, pulse. Thank you, Lord. Yes, glory to your name, God. That's who you call on. That's who you need. That's what you're accepting. That's what you're replacing everything in the world with. His name, his glory, his trust, his direction, his manifestation, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Get prepared to move to the next room of your life. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, you're gonna have your way on this earth realm. We'll be obedient unto you, Lord. Oh, God, listening to the signs and the wonders that you display, God. Oh, the shayam, I'm gonna give you that she got. I know she did it, Deliver them, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Breathe, 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 breathe. Keep on going. Yes, God, you better hold on. Ask for Him. Ask for His assistance. Include him in everything that you do. When he's in it, it stands. When he's in it, it lasts. When he's in it, it prospers. When he's in it, it elevates in the mighty name of Jesus. 20. 10. 5. 3. 1. Start running. Shake it off. That's what you do. When anything is difficult, shake it off. Make a decision. I don't want it. I don't believe it. I don't receive it. It's not my portion. I'm greater in Him. Yes, God. Yes, God. Believe. Believe. Get ready to shift again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to do 200 sit-ups. Breathe, 100 crunches, 
four, three, two, get low, get humble, get humble in the name of Jesus Christ, have your business. Believe him. This is not for you. This is for the kingdom. This is for the, the vessel that he's calling you to be. In the name of Jesus. You created it because you have purpose in you. You created it because you're supposed to birth out his vision. You're supposed to be utilized. You were supposed to be destined for greatness and success. In the name of Jesus. You're wondering why the things you do in the world are not falling through. That you keep failing because it's not of God. That means it's not of you. Come on and give him one accord. In the name of Jesus, come on and do the things that he's calling you to do. Get in order. Bind up the lies. This is a continuous process. Breathe. Breathe. It's bigger than a workout. Come on, let him clean you up. Yes, stand. Yes, stand. Don't move. Just stand. Don't move. Yes, Lord, just stand. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe, breathe. Get ready for the next series. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord, keep going. Scott, keep going, ladies. Yes, God. 20, 18, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 6, 4, in the name of Jesus. 3, 2, 1. Sit up. 50, kick out. Five, four, prepare yourself. Three, two, kick out. One, one, two, four, six, ten. Twenty. Thirty. Got this. Keep going. Do not stop. Don't let the enemy lie to you and say what you can't do. Yes, God. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back on your back. Grab one weight. Yes, God. Come on. Obedience is better than sacrifice. All right. I'm going to be on one accord, ladies. Feet all the way up. Up in the air. Push the weight up. You are reaching for 50 times. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach one, two. Yes, Lord. Keep on forgiving. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, keep breathing. Give him a yes, not a no, not a maybe, a yes. An amen in the name of Jesus. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Way down. Stand up. Come on and get in position. Come on and shake it off. Yes, God. Yes, God. Look how you're standing. Look how you're persevering. Look how you're wavering when it comes to dodging the schemes and the plots of the enemy. Not wavering in Christ, but the enemy can't use you any longer. Breathe through it and release. Walk away. Let the former days be former. Stop picking up the lies. Recycling confusion. It's not a God. Ultimately, I need you to release fear. In the name of Jesus, it has to go. That's a conflict in Christ. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, pick up your weight. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. 
All right, ladies. We're going right, right, five times. Then after the fifth one, you would do that five times. Let's do it together. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Hold on, like a lunge. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to your starting position, left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Release it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Keep on shaking it off. Keep on shaking it off. Breathe. Yes. Do it all with gratitude. No attitudes. Bind that up real quick. I don't want to do this. You tell yourself, I will. I can, and it is so in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I believe you, Lord. I know it's time. I know it's my season, God. Oh, yes, God. So I'm aligned up for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You better shake it off and get in the act right. Get in position. Be used. You've been crying. You've been begging. You've been slaying those demons, and you're still here for divine purpose. Yes, God, all you need is order. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lunge, 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 breathe, breathe, yes, trust me God, yes, yes, no more me, all of you, no more me God, all of you, no more. Believe me, Lord. He needs to believe you. He wants to trust you in this season. He wants to deliver you. Keep going. You're in the waiting room, and you're next up. 
Come on and pulse. And don't stop till you get there. Come on. Do not stop until you arrive. And when you arrive, you're just gonna shift positions in the name of Jesus. Breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get ready to lunge. This is for the victory lap. Thank you, Jesus. This is because now you in the realm of elevation. You actually released this time. So now he's taking you somewhere different. You never been there? But now you're equipped to come against everything that wants to take you out of the will of God. Get ready to run for your kids yes. to break every generational curse. Yes, Lord. This is for you, Master. Yes, it's for you, God. Yes, God. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, run. Run. Don't stop till you get there. Get closer than you think. Closer than you think. All the way through. All the way through. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Go faster. Three. Get it strong. Two. Release it. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 Thank Give it all to him. Yes. Let him prophesy, Master. Yes, God. Let him lay hands, Master. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Die in your flesh, woman of God. And get positioned yes, to be your best. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Christian, thank you. Praise My sister, I love you. Praise the holy name. Thank you, God. God is so good, ladies. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. We love you. God bless you. We are praying for you. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Amen. Sis, you know, you know your heart and your spirit is telling you to subscribe to my channel. It's just calling you on the inside. Just every part of your being just wants to move your fingers right along over to that mouse and just click that subscribe button and the notification button. Make sure you receive notifications for when I do post brand new episodes. Amen? Amen.